The overall mission of Mark and Priscilla's science philanthropy is to cure, manage, or prevent all human disease over the course of the next 100 years. And in the near term, that means investing in basic science and technology. And that's what we do at the BioHub. We work on discovery science and new technologies that will affect human health in the decades to come. BioHub is clearly a unique opportunity. First of all, our donors are thinking long term, cure and manage all disease by the end of the century. And they know that in order to accomplish that, we have to understand human biology, but we also have to change how we do science. We have to be more collaborative. We have to be open. We have to have opportunities for risk taking and long-term thinking. And so scientists are free to pursue their discoveries and, and to, to make observations and, and prioritize and say, this is, this is something that's gonna be really important down the road. The commitment of the BioHub is to increase scientific knowledge throughout the world. So it's really cool because you get to see kind of this ripple effect of uh, the science and the training that we're doing here at the BioHub kind of expanding throughout the world in a really kind of organic way. But we can do more than just that. We can bring the technology into places that can really affect disease in a community. Most values of the BioHub should be values of how science should be done. As a scientist, you should strive for scholarly excellence. You should always be going after the sparkle of what's the next discovery. You just go after it and you find this new thing that nobody has found before. So striving for really rigorous science that leads you to these novel findings is essential. I think a big belief here is that through the democratization of science, um, and not just creating really novel, interesting science and publishing papers here, but enabling science for others, you know, through lab automation stuff that we do here, open sourcing a lot of our software. In doing so, we can unlock broad societal value and enable other places, other peoples, to accelerate their science and to generate value for all people everywhere. I think of culture as really a living and breathing organism. And just like a living, breathing organism, you have to care and feed it and take care of it and nurture it on a daily basis. We had very, very explicit discussions about how we all wanted to make sure we always hired people that were not just brilliant and very good scientists and engineers or accountants or any other profession that is needed, but that they will be really good colleagues and good people that will be very pleasant to work with that will get and live this culture that we were trying to create. And that makes a massive difference. Yeah, so this culture over here. The types of folks that are really drawn to the BioHub are really attracted to our mission of identifying the underlying mechanisms of disease. And I think it also attracts people that want to give back to the broader science community, the global science community, and society and human health. We value curiosity. We value investigation. What's the next hard problem? How are we going to provide the resources or optimize what we have to make the biggest advances in science possible? How are we going to make sure that the record of our scientific progress has the maximal impact possible? <laughs>